Hey Chad, I kicked my boat washer off. It's gonna be a little dirty, so uh, here's a quick walkthrough on that 252 DC that we're looking at. Huge amount of cockpit space in here. Absolutely love the amount of space. You got a nice, e easy walkway. That's my cleaner right there. Nice, nice, easy walkway. You know, big feet can walk around. Five points of fresh water. You got fresh water right there. Fresh water on the side here. Raw water right there. Right here, standing from the back, you can see just how much space you have. So like most dual consoles, they tend to lose the fishability. It tends to feel more cramped when you get on the uh, the Blackfin 252. That is a, a, immediately not the case. It's got twin in-floor fish boxes. They're macerated uh, and uh, with overboard discharge. You got an actual comfortable seat here, stows away. One of my pet peeves is when the cushion folds down. Of course, it's getting the bath right now. So notice how all that comfortable seat, it's deeper, it's taller. Still tons of space, but when not in use, just those away that way. You got the sink here. Everything is on stainless steel. Blackfin is known for overbuilt components. You got your sink. You got your uh, your your Yetis on a pull-out slide there. Dedicated spot for the cutting board right there next to it. One of my favorite features is you got the. Um, not only the, the rear and the front facing seating of course you got the bolster flips down but heavy duty look at how big those components are you got the whole fam the extended fam wants to come with you you got more bench seating along with the drink holders hand rollers there but a chaise lounge with storage underneath it Of course, you got the uh, oversized captain's chair, armrest, 12 inch touchscreen Garmin there, all your Mercury vessels. You got your fusion head unit there. You also got access to it right there behind the water bottle I just put. So anybody can control the music. And because you have the twin in floor fish boxes on either side, you actually have a full ski locker right there for storage as well. Huge bow. You got 12 volt charger, USB chargers on both sides. Storage under both seats, the table storage there. One of my favorite features, through hole windlass. It's got its own freshwater spigot right there so you can wash the anchor road and chain. It's got its own dedicated storage for a second anchor as well. So no more having to store that, that, uh, that Crab Island anchor or that, that Shell Island anchor right there in the back. Uh, this one we've ordered with the bow and cockpit cover so when not in use you can keep it covered in all the elements and then right there you actually have the hardware points for its custom bow shade t-top the uh, top of the frame is is uh, integrated into the the actual windshield so uh very sleek very unified look of course with a taller windscreen heavy duty heavy duty materials so that's a nice half inch thick but even when it's uh, being used as a windscreen, you actually have your dedicated storage right in there. Notice how everything's nice and finished in there. I'll take another video once he uh, gets it all cleaned up. 12 persons capacity. You're going to run out of people that you want to be on your boat before you run out of people who want to go with you. Restroom is pretty comparable to most 25s out there. I'm gonna say it is the uh, macerated overboard discharge. It does have the uh, the fresh water that pulls out. That's a hose as well. Um, I do like it's, it's it's pretty simple. And then you got the port light right there into the boat. Just a lot of boat. And of course, you got the powerhouse twin two twenty fives right there. You're gonna love the boat. I promise. Let's put it in the water. Let's take the Folgers test.